Hi everyone, I'm Laurentio and in this video I'm going to talk about playing games and flying games for the Sony PSP. Snoopy vs the Red Baron is an amazing PSP game. It's one of those hidden gems. Don't let the license fool you. The game is enjoyable, even for adults. Actually, there are some final levels that will be pretty hard, even maybe impossible for a kid to finish. The game is amazing, from the jolly visuals to the controls to the gameplay. Everything is amazing about the game. I recommend you try it. Snoopy gets different lanes. You get different sorts of objectives, though most of them consist of just shooting or flying through rings. But anyway, the game is amazing and I totally recommend you play it. Super Hind is a decent game, though it has some flaws. The mission objectives are very repetitive and the difficulty jumps suddenly to hard out of nowhere. But on the plus side, the graphics are really good for a PSP and I think it's the only chopper game on this system. The game is decent, you start shooting whatever shoots you and if you're into chopper games, you might enjoy it. But beware that it's pretty repetitive. Pilot Academy is a simulation game. You need nerves of steel to master this game. But if you have the patience, then you'll be doing stuff like taxi people around, do presidential flights, avoid a tornado, do fire breaks, track animals and more stuff like this sort. The game tries to be as realistic as possible. The game looks horrible, even for a PSP game. But the gameplay tries to be as much of a simulation as it can. And it has many challenges for you to master, so if it sounds like a good game to you, then give it a try. You might like it. I mean, it's the Flight Simulator PSP version. I mean, the closest game to Flight Simulator on the PSP. Mac Modified Air Combat Heroes is a fantastic game. You do two types of things in the game. And both are fun. You race with power-ups and you fight in battle arenas with power-ups. And no matter what you do, it's fun. It's fast-paced action and great controls make up for an amazing and memorable experience. The game has around 5 race maps and 5 battle arenas, all nice looking. And overall the game is fantastic, it's fast paced and you can get lots and lots of replay value out of this game. To get you more of an idea of what the game is, imagine that it's a karting game but with planes. And it's awesome. EL2 Sturmovik Birds of Prey isn't the amazing game you get on PC or on PS3. But even if the experience isn't on the same level as the big versions, the handheld version on the PSP is still solid. And the game is very good. You're locked in a behind the plane view and you get to dogfight. The controls are arcadey and the game is beautiful. And the controls are beautiful too. The planes even control different depending on which one you choose. If you are looking for a good World War II dogfight game, this is the one for you, but we were that the game can get repetitive. Air Conflicts Aces of World War II is a bad game. From the presentation to the controls to the mission objectives, the game is bad. Most of the game is just bland and boring, but there are also frustrating moments that spice things up. And since frustrating moments are no fun and boring content is no fun either, the game is bad. Afterburner Black Falcon is an arcade shooter. It's fast paced and has beautiful sceneries. You can put different paint jobs on your plane and explode everything. You can also unlock 15 jets. As gameplay you avoid oncoming stuff that could destroy your plane and shoot everything on sight. The game has some humoristic cutscenes too. If you want an amazing game to boost your, your testosterone, this is the one. And the two Ace Combat games on the PSP 
hold up high the fame of the Ace Combat games. These two are another two masterpieces. They were specifically made for the PSP so that no port can ruin the experience. These two games were designed, custom, tailored for the PSP and you can see that in the quality of the gameplay. The games are engaging like Ace Combat games usually are and provide a fantastic dogfight experience. Planes handle like a charm, you get different locations and a good deal of planes to choose from. If you go with Ace Combat and like dogfight games, you can fail with these two games. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.